What were, what were his last words to you? Because uh, I gather that you used to be very close with him uh, almost to the end. Well, I was very fortunate to have spent the whole day with him before he left. And most of that day was full of laughter. He would laugh about himself waking up too early for breakfast. He laughed about himself asking for breakfast a second time. He laughed in the evening when I couldn't get up from a chair and I said I was too old. He was full of laughter, full of fun. And that's the best that I can remember of him of that day. Did he have any particular regrets, any particular remorse? That I didn't spend enough time with him. That you did not spend enough time with him? Yeah, you couldn't have enough time with Dad. Now, Edith, uh, I have read again uh, copiously that uh, here was a man, really, close to a man of the people. Uh, a man who believed, for example, in the rule of law, and I know, of course, that uh, you are a trained lawyer, but that, uh, like in the words of uh, the late Martin Luther King Jr., the Reverend himself from the Deep South, uh, he pretty much believed in the concept of what Martin Luther said, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. I think he would agree with that. He never told me that, but his actions probably can tell that. He, he believed in truth and justice, and he always said that that was his faith. Whether you were Anglican or Catholic or Muslim or Hindu, there was one faith that you shared with him, and that was truth and justice. Where did he get uh, this rare quality of humility? Here is a man who comes from the royal family, from my research, uh, and he marries uh, a wife who happens to belong to the Catholic religion. He is a Protestant, and he actually uh, pretty much lives, frankly, as a Catholic, especially because, let's face it, all the children of Mr. Bianima, the last time I checked, are Catholics. As I said, he always said truth was his faith. Whether you were Catholic, Anglican, Indian, Chinese, you had one faith, which was truth. If you had faith, it had to be truth. If you didn't have truth, then you didn't have faith. So it didn't matter that we were Catholic and he was Anglican. 